is cool. But, yeah, we can do this. Start recording. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is April 23rd, 2020, and we're doing a drop in math tutoring session number six for the year 2020. Let's do some math and open discussion. And we've done a lot of these in the last couple of years. Okay. And uh, basically, the name of the game is I'm uh, making myself available for a couple of hours uh, on a weekly, bi weekly. We're doing two this week one today one tomorrow so two to three times uh, a month uh, sometimes four times a month making myself available to uh, help people out if they need any help in uh, high school mathematics okay uh, aside from that welcome to our stream if you want to know what we're doing mask of raven how are you doing oh boy oh boy <laughs> you got your little wrench you're ready for this eh? saucy rossi how are you doing spider-man hello 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 i'm assuming the notification notification went out on twitch or not twitch uh discord i hope so anyway nicholas how are you doing welcome welcome right now is good time for you nicholas it's uh, evening right so that's not bad nice chill evening mass session and for those of you who want to know uh, who we are, uh, I am posting uh, everything on Patreon. So you can follow the work there. If you do have the funds, it's a great place to support this project. We are live streaming this on Twitch, and that's our Twitch channel. Yeah, 9 30 p.m. in the UK. Connor Higgins, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, we are live streaming this on Twitch. And if you want to catch these live, uh, that's where you want to be at and you can subscribe uh, and follow on twitch so those are great ways to support this project as well as stream labs i guess we have that set up as well simmer how are you doing always be making nice nice nights of comic old of old comics <laughs> old comics how are you guys doing man uh i do announce these things about 30 minutes beforehand on twitter gabs minds vk and Ello. okay is it coming no comics today mathematics today mathematics today discord no okay just went out okay awesome thanks spider-man uh yeah math today there's a lot of people that need math help really uh my students um, um i have few students that are in school trying to get their mathematics done so i know the problems that people are facing liquid source how are you doing welcome welcome catholic traditionalist how are you good afternoon good folks no comics today <laughs> nights of old comics <laughs> all right but just having a glass of red wine nice simmer very nice we do math we do math and we do upload these videos on youtube and bitchute right now almost everything on youtube so far we're staying on top of it twitching jason how are you doing uh and everything as long as it's processing on bitchute and we are times of pandemics, so if you want to flatten the curve, reduce the stress on your healthcare systems, then keep a little bit of physical distance and uh, be aware of where you are and uh, take care of people, right? That's the name of the game. Uh, irrelevant of what you might have heard, uh, the most important thing is to make sure your communities are not overwhelmed. And uh, if there is something going around, right indications are there probably is irrelevant of what you might have heard uh then uh, keep a little bit of physical distance it's a good idea right aside from that welcome everyone hope you're doing well thank you so much spider-man you gotta you can't thank me. it's good really thank you math time martin we made buns on stream nights but they kind of turned into biscuits biscuits are good too can the math relate to uh comics for sure knights of old comic we did some right the last comic book reading we did was the price tag uh the price tag the catalog order form that we got uh, from 1968 that's the, that's what we narrowed it down to so we actually looked at the prices that are now so that was amazing 
amazing spider-man number 20 for a dollar number 50 and number 45 for 50 cents now they're going for thousands right <laughs> so that's pure mathematics that's pure mathematics it was brilliant at some point we're going to take that i'm going to make a, include that in the whole series uh, that's part of my personal finance stuff 100 percent guaranteed man i apologize for my abrupt like things i said oh no worries i had an unexpected hr issue at work that i was called on no worries catholic catholic traditionist did you hear me sing amy grant <laughs> i don't know if she was your forte but uh, i did see her in concert hannah how are you doing hello everyone that's mask of raven says uh, mandatory face masks coming in the uk wow 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 mandatory faith yeah, yeah some places are being hit hard man right so those people that are saying it's all a hoax is <laughs> just because they don't see it where they are it doesn't mean it doesn't exist in other places it's like it, that's weird the, it's just i don't get it right mandatory face masks in the uk okay the situation must be getting worse i guess I went for a walk yesterday it was re uh, refreshing i'm even in the rain nice yeah the rain yesterday rain here as well it was really good hannah i loved it i went outside for a little bit just to take out the what do you call it? recycling and compost it was the day right and i saw people walking around in their rain jackets and stuff and it was nice it just uh, rain has a sense of uh, by the way uh Pacific Northwest, west coast of Canada and United States in uh, the border area, that's a rainforest. So we live in a, me and Hannah live in a rainforest. Uh, it's a temperate rainforest. So it does rain a lot here. Um, on that front, uh, front it, it provides a lot of greenery. So there's a lot of green here, but we've been having a huge heat wave, sort of like forest fire season has already started where I am. So the rain yesterday was absolutely brilliant. Since we're about uh, without without Alex being next to my uh, name, like on YouTube. Oh, Alex from YouTube. Alex uh, Simmers. I go, man. There's so many names I'm trying to uh, recognize, and it switches between Twitch and YouTube. So it's totally throwing me off. Buying and selling. Buying and selling, Hannah. Any advice on how to uh, make learning algebra easier for dyslexic uh, people? Um, feed it to them faster. Uh, Knights of Old Comics. What I find is uh, dyslexia, th there's different, it's a spectrum, right? There's, it's like autism, there's a spectrum, there's AD, everything is a spectrum, there's no absolutes, right? So it's a spectrum, so it's a fine balance, right? But for those who don't fit it within the small box that our education system has created saying okay this is the way we're gonna teach it and anyone that doesn't can't learn it in this way is you know they're special whatever they they call them right so they reduce the box smaller and smaller right some people need certain things explained in a different way some people have little gaps here because of central education system and stuff but just because someone has is on whatever spectrum that they're on it doesn't mean that uh, they can't pro process certain information at incredibly fast rates right they might have hiccups some places but some of the other stuff they'll they can process like speedy ones out style right like crazy fast right like seriously i i know because i've been doing this for 20 years right so you it's really important that's where the decentralization comes in if you have educators that are aware where the information blockage is right then you can focus on that a little bit help them through but don't reduce the speed of everything else because there's pi different pipelines coming in so that's one of the problems that people have with anyone that doesn't fit within the box they slow everything down and that bores the crap out of anyone right like really bores the crap out of anyone i don't care where you're on the spectrum right so what you need to do is really pinpoint where the problem areas are work on those but you can work on those as you're feeding them additional information <laughs> layer it on so they see the whole picture 
right once they see the whole picture then it's money as soon as that little blockage is fixed like it's like a body right and as soon as the muscles relax on one part as long as you've been working out everything else it just fits into gear right it just goes into place and everything works together brilliantly it takes time energy effort uh, patience kindness uh, frustration it takes all that stuff but front load and the work Put the work that's needed at the beginning of the stages of educating anyone in any subject and you reap the rewards towards the end right that's my advice uh, take it as you wish profit on spider-man for 42 yeah 4118 percent profit that's sweet money right Wow, it's really I must have through that rant I must have I did hear that El Shaddai, El Shaddai El. I pronounced half that stuff wrong actually more than half of it probably all of it I'm gonna scroll down again because I know off my rant I would I missed a lot of chat oh Mick, how are you doing hello hello honestly Pacific Northwest sounds like a dream climate doing calculus today night no calculus today I I've been really busy doing a lot of things so I, I'm not going to touch up on my calculus odd make until the summer. I had an influx and more um, requests to do uh, online uh, teaching with some of my students, and I picked up a couple of extra ones and stuff. So I've been really trying to make sure I can fit everyone in because uh, if any of my students have a hard time, they come first, right? I fit them in wherever I have time available. So hopefully this summer I'll be able to pick it up El <laughs> Homiro, uh, how are you doing Chicho how would you solve um, lawn X let me write this down that's the first math I saw let's check it out lawn X lawn X we don't need to put it in brackets but it, whatever uh, where to go oh I lost it the chat oh no there it is uh, minus three square root of lawn x minus three square root of lawn x plus two plus two is equal to zero you sure that's not squared oh no it doesn't need to be squared uh, does it no it doesn't need to be squared how would we solve it is this x under the square root yeah it is so the, the, the way we would do it do it this way okay let me scroll down so this is number one let's deal with this first da, da. am i missing a lot Danite. how are you doing welcome welcome i'm gonna scroll down that way if i make any mistakes in this uh people can correct me right what does a house wear <laughs> vivian i don't know houseware sightings uh, i have a small problem i bought a small portable uh, charcoal grill and I want to start grilling more fresh meat but through quarantine I'm staying at my girlfriend's studio and where I can where can I grow it on the roof I guess in the empty park sure wherever you can find uh, but I'm gonna scroll down Hannah there we go can you explain uh, plank length in math not not the mathematics of it but I can explain the concept of it right uh, yeah that's exactly mask of raven uh, mention that that's exactly what we're gonna do uh, square root as you I would do this so for example take a look at this this is uh, ln to the power of 1 of x minus 3 ln x to the power of here let me do it in a way where it's obvious this is to the power of 1 and this is to the power of a half plus 2 is equal to 0 right that's what it is and a quadratic function is this x squared here a x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero right so this is a quadratic function and we can factor quadratic functions right so for example just imagine you had this right just imagine a was one so let's set a as one b is equal to negative three and c is equal to two okay so just imagine a is 1 b is negative 3 c is 2 right so what we have now is 
one x squared, which is just x squared, plus b, not b, negative three, negative three uh, x plus two is equal to zero. All right, take a look at this. So that's our negative three. There's a one, there's two, right? So let x or u as a mask of Raven said, let's say u, let's set u, let's set u, u equal to ln square root of ln n, right? So let u equal the square root of ln x. Yeah, it has to be x, sorry, I didn't realize, I forgot we used an x already. So, and I use an x here, right? Uh, actually, I should call these ones u too, right? My bad. Use the correct terminology, right? U, u. Uh, mask of Raven is ahead of me on this one, right? So you're gonna let this equal this, right? So that's really that guy. So all we gotta do is factor this guy, right? Because if we sub this in for this, this is exactly what we're gonna get. Watch this. We're gonna get square root of ln x squared minus three, um, square root of ln x plus two is equal to zero, which is our original question, because square root of ln x is just ln x, right? Because they kill each other, right? As you know, x square root of x is x to a power of a half. So if you have square root of u squared, that's going to be u squared to a power of a half, which is just going to be u, which is what we got. Or anyway, you get the gist. I'm using the wrong letters. I'm reusing them. It's just not the best thing to do. But this is what happens when you look at Chad and look at the screen and look at this, right? So all we got to do really is just factor this. So let's just factor that, right? So let's kill this guy. Boop. Factor this guy. Two numbers that multiply to give you positive two, add to give you negative three. Okay. Negative two times negative one, right? So you're gonna get u minus one, u plus, oh, minus, minus, minus two, right? Because if you f foil this out, you're gonna get u squared minus 2u minus u plus 2, right? This is just straight up factor. So now what you can do is just say u minus 1 is equal to 0, u minus 2 is equal to 0, so u is equal to 1 and u is equal to 2. Well, what's u? u is, oh, right here, u is ln x, right? So what you can do is go, let's go, can you see what this far down? Yeah, you can see this far down. So now what you do, you say square root of ln x is equal to one and square root of ln x is equal to two. Well, ln x, ln, ln of something is log base e of that thing, right? I think so. I hope so. This is for statistics. Yes. Is it for statistics? I, no, this is, uh, this would be quadratics and logarithms, right? Let me make sure I'm just going to reach out and make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Hardcore. Uh, that's a strange uh, formulation for that equation. What is there to explain? <laughs> While well, solving it, right? And what, how you could do it is called substitution right thanks guys the person with dyslexia is me and i stopped at algebra okay algebra because i just couldn't process it that was in the 80s and no one even thought of dyslexia uh, so i was left with the belief of i'm not smart enough for that yeah knights of old there uh knights of old comic there's lots of people that have come across even now right that i start working with they're like what you like all of a sudden they understand something that they never thought they could understand, which is just because it was just shown, you know, they're having the attention, the someone really focusing in on the problem and feeding that little, just putting that little brick 
in the right place for them to move on. It's unfortunate. It's just a centralized system. It can't handle uh, unique people, right? Unique ways of being, right? But you're wiser and older now. I'm sure you can learn. Yeah, school failed you, not the other way around. 100% odd, Mick. That's exactly what it is. I need a scroll command. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Scroll command. Uh, this is that. Okay. Uh, no, this is a log problem. Yeah, it would be log problems. How's it going? You're doing well, Quinn. How are you doing? Okay. So basically, it's this. So what we got really here is doop, doop, we can see it. So this is really log e of x is equal to 1 and log e of x is equal to 2. Oh, sorry, I forgot the I forgot to square this. This is squared. This is squared. So that's one squared is one and this is squared. So this is four. Right? You need to get rid of the square root, right? Okay. Classes is session. How's it going? Okay, so let me go back here. I'm going to kill this guy. Okay, and we're going to continue to work here. Because that was just redundant. That was just this, right? So right now we have this uh, log e of x is equal to one, and log e of x is equal to four, right? We had log square root of log x is equal to two. You square both sides, you get four. Right? So there's the rule that says you can kick this up, right? And then these guys go up. And this is logs. I'm not covering the logs aspect of it, right? This is just one of the things you can do. So one of the log rules. So x is equal to e to the power of 1, and x is equal to e to the power of 4. Does that make sense? Does that help you out? I forget who it was that asked that question. Oh, it's way up there, so uh, I'm not going to scroll way up trying to find it. Thanks, Otmik. Um And this is about dyslexia. I hope to try again so I can help my daughter by the time she's learning algebra and beyond. Uh, Knights of Old Comic, you should begin now. I don't know how old your daughter is, but you need to begin now. Okay. When I started teaching mathematics is when I really started to understand mathematics. I didn't know it beforehand. I made a lot of mistakes. I don't. I don't know if it was mistakes, like. I don't I didn't explain things as well as I do now as I did during the first three four years of me teaching five years of me teaching because I didn't know math I had students come up to me and say hey why do you do this I'm like I don't know I just did it I just know how to do it right what's the core reason why I do this I didn't know right and then I would read I would read I would watch videos I would do this, this. I mean well back then there wasn't that many videos there was I was using SoulSeek back then, three computers uploading, downloading. So I was grabbing a lot of anything I could find, right? So I would do my research and learn it. It was hard work, man. Learning math, learning how to teach high school mathematics, elementary school math, difficult. <laughs> Seriously, it, it was very challenging. I highly recommend doing it. You're better for it. Very powerful stuff, Chicho. Elomiro. Uh, you were able to solve a law problem by using a completely different idea, which is quadratics. There's a lot of uh, beauty to this problem. Yeah, for sure. And this is, uh, uh, how else would I solve this? I mean, this is, this is basically my to-go-to method of doing it. Uh, I can't think of another way. Uh, Quinn, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Two months in a row. Uh, where were you during my college days love hello oh and hello lark bark how are you doing math is relative hey, we, math is relative math is relative uh, math is pretty absolute actually the how you apply mathematics uh, people's understanding of mathematics different disciplines uh, the different level of mathematics they use at different disciplines is all relative but mathematics is pretty pure um, how you use language is relative right but the language itself is not uh, verbal languages are more 
associative, relative, descriptive than mathematics. Uh, other, ah, I'm going to bite my tongue on that one because math really describes everything without the, uh, I don't know, it's different. It's different. I was going to say without the emotional attachment, but uh, there is amazing beauty and emotion associated with mathematics without the biases to a certain degree i would say without the biases knights of old comic Odmic says your daughter might be dyslexic too she's lucky to have someone so special and understanding to help her out yeah really like one of the reasons i'm able to work with uh, a lot of people that don't fit inside the box is because I didn't fit inside the box <laughs> like really you should have seen me pounding against the walls of the box <laughs> but and the box when I was growing up was a lot bigger than the box is now the box is way tighter now right so I feel for a lot of kids that trying to go through the system horrendous horrendous right brutal brutal I was joking that E equals MC squared is both not really Oh, e equals mc squared yeah how are you on real analysis how are you on real i'm not sure what real analysis uh means uh, always be making what do you mean with real analysis i need an example i don't know what the words mean uh, the different disciplines log problems they are quite uh, different from regular problems to a certain degree they have uh asymptotes right yeah math was pure and holy until oh mr incompetence theorem came around kurt kudel yeah. <laughs> that's what, the incompleteness theorem you can't you can't uh say that anything is a pure system from inside the box unless you step outside the box the incompleteness theorem right oh kudel that's why he went crazy odd nick right trying to figure out infinity matrices are also awesome it's like a different way to do math and it works and it works yeah i gotta brush up on my mate i relearn it anyway uh, i'm doing great thank you lark i'm doing great thank you and i could have used this tutor um tutoring during my college years although i must say i got much i got much with my math during my college days nice rickety rocket hello I have a question for you if you're running in a race and you pass the person in second place what place are you in you pass the person in second place your second place right Rather. defining the real numbers defining the real I, I like real the real number set one of the first videos I think video number three I ever put out for uh, uh, one of the th third video I ever put out regarding mathematics was uh, the real number set oh doing some calculus I just finished this class had a lot of fun nice that's what I like to hear fun with mathematics right my parents work in the system both being teachers and I hear the frustration about stuff like that all the time yeah Quinn incompleteness doesn't necessarily take away uh, the purity for me mask of Raven says to all like I've noticed the uh, two underdog comics, comic books in the background as well. Yeah, well, one is underdog. The other one's Mickey Mouse. Um, uh, Mighty Mouse, right? Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse is awesome. Odd Mike. Real analysis is a formalized, formalized calculus with proofs. Then nope, I'm, I'm not real analysis. I'm not good at it, anything involving proofs in general. I'm not good at my mind functions more on solving than proving it's a branch of math it deals with limits continuity series sequences differentiability um i like limit i like limits and i like uh, graphing functions so there might be parts of it that i like i like it too mask of ribbon you like it i think it makes things much more interesting Oh, the incompleteness theorem. Yeah, yeah. Who was publishing the Underdog Comics? It was uh, the Underdog Comics was uh, Charlton Comics. Charlton Comics. And this is number uh, number one. I think it's the first time he appeared on uh, in comic books. 
rickety rocket thank you that is correct so my people get it wrong it's this disappointing <laughs> it's a, it's a trick right absurdicon hello hello how are you doing I, I love how you solve problems if I may how would you solve the problem um, that's a log problem here here's the rule for the log let's stick with uh, the logs I like this let's do mathematics I like logs I love logs actually okay so how do we do this so what's what are the log rules we have right there's some core log rules we have like 10 of them right so let me write down the problem so I don't lose it ln x plus ln is equal to x plus 2 is equal to 4 right what are some of the log rules that you have right think about the log rules rule you have and which one applies here okay and uh, um, elomiro okay mathematics absurdicon I'm gonna scroll down a little bit absurdicon uh, just so yeah absurdicon yeah uh, yes absurdicon's uh, uh, absurdicon's got it by the way right oh, okay great thank you for your comic knowledge well I just looked at it but it is the first one all right product rule if I'm correct exactly so basically you drop an X don't drop an X absurd of so one of the rules is if you got log a plus log B uh, then this is equal to log a times B right and that's this guy we got log of something plus log of something so that means it's equal to here I should write it down downwards I don't like going sideways on on well that is identities no let's do it log a b when I'm solving I don't go sideways right so this is really this so all you would do is just go log oops I was gonna put it as a fraction as a division the division would be divided by right if this was minus then this would be log a divided by b right so this would be log uh, x times x plus 2 is equal to 4 this is ln so ln is log to the base e kick the e up kick the 4 up multiply this out so you got x squared plus 2x is equal to e to the power of 4 and then kick that over right plus 2x minus e to the power of 4 is equal to 0 and from here you just use the quadratic formula to solve it right <laughs> Martin says absurd that's gangsta <laughs> nice I remember watching uh, an old stream uh, and you're uh, all dealing with uh, diophantine equations I think it was about counting how many cards uh, with so many passes wow my favorite part of math are the pure concepts like metric systems density completeness continuity oh mask of raven the by the way oddnik mask of raven have you guys seen the or anyone that that likes math have you guys ever seen that documentary called uh, it's either uh forbidden knowledge uh where it's a documentary about uh, this mathematician that made a documentary about his three of his favorite mathematicians uh, one of them was Google uh, I don't know who the other two, I forget who the other two are but they're huge mathematicians and they went uh, one of them went insane no one of them killed himself and two of them went insane thinking about infinity Raman 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 Mudan. I don't know you guys are smart I don't know if smart is the right word it's just this is just knowing mathematics like no it's just a rule that's it I'm a web dev uh, going uh, going to back to school for CS haven't done math in years teach me cypher McKay what do you need for uh, 
what are you going back for a uh, computer science uh, you need calculus for computer science you need statistics for computer science what else do you need for computer science you need pre-calc you need to know uh, logs exponential growth you need to know a lot of stuff maybe not smart you can get pretty far with enthusiasm <laughs> on make well put so on makes response to uh you know wow you guys are smart doing math on makes response is what should be what i should have said which on makes says which is maybe not smart you can get pretty far with en enthusiasm right which is fa fantastic and anger how are you doing very lovecraftian the pursuit of knowledge leading to madness yeah raman dunn did a lot uh with the concept of infinity if i recall correctly i don't i forget the names coolio how's it going maybe they didn't go insane maybe they learned the truth and the gods of math had to summon them to impart, to impart their knowledge and to superior them <laughs> maybe right infinity used to trip me out as a kid yeah i didn't really understand the concept of infinity until way after i don't even know when it all of a sudden clicked right it just went oh wait a second ramanujan ramanujan was his name okay hey first time here why are we doing logarithms because someone asked the question about logs if you have a math question we'll take a look at it right I got new pens and an eraser <laughs> Olive how are you doing how's life Olive I've lately been of the thought that we should introduce infinity in math early seeing as many kids uh, many kids seem to gravitate towards thinking of it and it's kind of fun as opposed to uh, just memorization and stuff mask of Raven 100% agree 100% agree and I do do it with some of my younger students when we start talking about counting even the real number set I start planting seeds regarding infinity and whatnot Ahmed says Chicho Diophantine equations are neat because it um, if you guys accidentally did number three it because uh, you guys accidentally did number three the question was something about if you have three players run out of cards after X many passes it's a pretty big field of research oh really I think I remember the question um, that we did uh, it was a very nice uh, clean way of solving it I believe I was having a hard time wrapping my head around it. I think Mask of Raven was trying to explain it to all. And then all of a sudden when I saw it, I was like, oh, wow. Oh, derivatives. I don't like derivatives. Not yet. I'm not good at them right now. Sorry. Uh, Odd make and Mask of Raven might be able to do. By the way, as snacks today, Olive, life is good. But I should go to sleep. Have a fun stream. Good night. Good night, Olive. Thanks for popping in. I think the easiest way to introduce infinity kids is to use that that equals one uh, the easiest way I do it I just tell them here imagine this I, I for me there's two things I say to me for me there's two uh, two definitions of infinity I use one of them something that goes on forever and the other one is the universe explodes so I tell my students I go okay look think of infinity as two different ways one of them just imagine yourself counting forever you can imagine that right they go yeah yeah I just count one blah, blah, go up they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I go the other one is the universe explodes chips sometimes you just got to eat chips man really honey Dijon and I use uh, check this out and I usually just use yogurt if I ever use dip I just use straight yogurt right and yogurt and chips these chips are really good oh nice Catholic traditionalist does it yeah. just dip it in it's phenomenal it balances out the saltiness the derivatives are more fun when you learn the tricks to calculate them quickly yeah 
Then it's just algebra, meditative. Very true. Same with ODEs. That's the derivative of that. Yamaska Raven? Cool. Catholic traditionist does it as well. Nice, nice. Yep, that's it. Absurdicon, nice. I also feel like most kids confuse infinity with an actual number. Yeah, they don't realize it's like a limit, right? I know I did when I, I did too. And Mirio, I did as well. It's an identity if I'm cor correct or something along those lines. Identity, I think of it as a limit. I don't know if that's the right way of thinking about it or not, to tell the truth. I like that example. If you want to confuse them further with quantum physics, they can count to infinity while the universe is small simultaneously. <laughs> Coolio, I'm going to start using that. Hold on, i got to read this again. So there's two types of infinity. One, count to forever. Yeah, you can imagine that. Or the universe explodes. And if you want to teach them about quantum physics, you say, if you want to confuse them further, you say, oh, do you know what quantum physics is? You would just say, well, just imagine uh, you counting to infinity while the universe explodes simultaneously. So that's what we're going to remember. Just imagine you counting to infinity while the universe explodes simultaneously. Oh, I'm going to try to put that to memory, Coolio. Sorry, Mr. Traditionalist. <laughs> Mom, <into> see you there. <laughs> nice. Two answers. Confirmed, right? Why not? What kind of yogurt? Just straight up yogurt. Usually I grab uh, 3%, but when I went, we went to the store like a few days ago, <laughs> 2%, 2% 2 and 3% was gone. So they either had Greek yogurt, which is like 6.5%, the one that I get, and grass-fed uh, Greek yogurt, or they had 0%, right? So I like 3%. So I took the six and a half percent, I bought six and a half percent, and I bought zero percent, I put them together. So this is zero percent and six and a half six and a half percent mixed together. Okay. Addictive. One more. Sounds like a Thanos code, Martin says. Okay, we've got another math problem. Let's check it out. Love him, hate him at the same time. Complex as analysis is very cool. It's just, it just seems like such coincidence, re residue integration, and such actually works, provided sufficiently well-behaved functions. Let's check this one. I already erased it. Nice. Five brackets. Negative three x squared minus two. Was it squared? No. Minus x minus three. Minus x minus three equals negative four x. Four x plus five plus thirteen. Plus five plus. This isn't even, uh, there's no squares here uh, on a whiteboard. What do we get? Let's see if it works. Well, it should work. Got to love that e to the power of i pi is equal to negative one. Just multiply everything out. This is, whenever you see a negative in front of bracket, it's a negative one. You're multiplying the negative in. If it's a positive, you don't need to do anything. You just drop the brackets. If it's a negative, this negative goes in, right? Here's a negative four. Always remember the sign in front of the number goes with the number, right? That should be like a mantra. Sign in front of the number goes with the number. Sign in front of the number goes with the number, right? The other one is reduce before you multiply, reduce before you multiply, right? So right? line up your equal sign. Oops, equals upside down. Don't line up your equal sign like that. Line up your equal sign, right? Put it in the middle. Multiply this out. So negative 15x minus 10 minus x plus 3. Multiply this out. Negative 16x minus 20 plus 13. 
Before you move things around, combine your like terms on either side first. Line up your equal sign, all right? Combine your like terms. This guy adds to this guy. So it's negative 16x minus seven. This guy adds to this guy. This guy adds to this guy. When you're looking at expressions like this or equations like this, okay? Circle things, box things, underline things. So you see visually what needs to combine with what, right? It makes life a lot easier. So you got negative 14x minus 7, right? Oh, negative 16x minus 7. So what do we have here? We got 0 equals 0. Well, 0 equals 0. Right. That's what you got. It's the same thing, right? You bring this over, plus, did I do this right? Yeah, plus 16x, bring this over, plus 7, 0 equals 0. x equals zero does x equals zero here let's do a test do a test run on this thing because we didn't get x is equal to zero we got zero equals zero right so anything so it's the same expression on both sides as racer kill says right so it doesn't make a difference what you plug in right take a look at this we got here let me rewrite it negative 16x minus 7 is equal to negative 16x minus 7. It doesn't, like, it's the same expression. This is exactly the same as this. So whatever you plug in here, you got to plug in here. So they're both equal. So, ah, I get it. Right? It's just the same thing, right? Yeah. Negative 16 boxes minus 7 is equal to negative 16 boxes minus 7. What can you put in the box to make this equation true? Anything you want because they're the same thing. This is this. Right? X is just a placeholder, right? Anything you want. Here, let's put a function in here. Let's, in the box, let's put ln x minus 2 over square root of x y plus 7 cubed minus x plus 3 so let's put that in here well that's the same put it in there so it's true for that whatever that is i don't know we could put numbers here 10 5 2 whatever it is irrelevant Solving an equation means finding every solution. In this case, every number is a solution. Where are you from? I got to ask, Chicho. Uh, Lark, uh, I live in the west coast of Canada. I'm west coast Canadian mainly, basically. Okay. Born in Iran, Armenian ancestry. So my first language was Armenian. My second language was Farsi. My language that I can read and write that the only language I can read and write and speak way better than any of the other ones is English. Uh, what if you put the Schlosser's cat in a box? Oh, I saw something, a uh, little cartoon thing where, uh, oh, I forget what it is. Some mathematician is given a present. I think the, uh, the cartoon was, ooh, where did I see this? The cartoon was uh, a mathematician is giving <laughs> giving a box <laughs> so this is the mathematician right he's giving a box a present to, <laughs> i guess to his daughter right and the mathematician's partner is saying i hope it's not another dead cat in the box <laughs> Where did I see this? I don't know where I saw it. It cracked me up. It was so funny. It was so funny. So funny. Canadian people. I'm Canadian. Yeah. For sure. I'm pretty sure there's Canadians here. For sure. Just turned in after no school for a month on that question. Just frazzled my brain. British here, British. 
You're welcome, Lark. Poor Schlurzer, his cat is so often misinterpreted. <laughs> So geometrically, the two linears are parallel. Yeah, they're two here. Let me show it to you. Watch this. So we had, let's just, what was it? It was negative 16x minus 7 is equal to negative 16x minus 7. Let's call this y1. Let's call this y2, right? So y1 is equal to negative 16x minus 7, and y2 is equal to negative 16x minus 7, right? And then the question would be solve this linear system of equations. So solve this linear system of equations, right? Blah, 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 blah. So you could do it with substitution and elimination, right? You could do it graphically. Let's do it graphically. Graphically, negative 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The slope is negative 16 over 1. Oh, pooper scooper, right? Instead of going down 16 and over this way 1, I'm going to go up 16 and over this way 1. Because negative, uh, yeah, negative up, positive, negative this way, right? So that was 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then over 1. So here's our graph of y1 this is y1 let's graph y2 graph of y2 what same thing so there's an infinite number of solutions the two lines are on top of each other All right me too i'm armenian but my native native language is russian nice process he was pointing out the absurd uh, absurdism of the many worlds interpretation Admik, by the way have you seen uh, devs the tv show called devs have you guys has anyone watched the tv show called devs okay can we whiteboard this one one over yeah sure let's do it that's a quadratic with uh limits or restrictions right so one over m plus three plus one oh that one over m plus three one over m okay so we got this one over m plus three minus one over m plus minus minus you switch them yeah you're switching them and it was a plus i got that one wrong so that's a plus and that's a minus minus three is equal to one over m squared minus nine i believe isn't it should be six six Boop. do i have the numbers right yeah Chicho, are you familiar with trig identities yeah I, I usually have to look at the formula sheet but the, the half of them for sure love devs yeah it was great eh? great series oh racer kills on it nice 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 i haven't seen devs my friend uh, recommends it but i'm staying away until it's over it's over uh, it finished a couple days ago worth watching good evening or good morning good morning or good afternoon for my end i need to do some stuff and sleep okay chicho devs is made by alex garland if you like the show check out annihilation and x machine oh x machine i know x machine i have uh, i've read a couple of the trades is really good annihilation i've read annihilation Otmic. annihilation was we're talking about comic books right multiple the first with that is it a mini series or will it have another series? i think it's done i think devs is done one one season as far as i know I will start watching that tomorrow then nice uh for this one right this is just factoring stuff so you we don't need the brackets here by the way unnecessary and we don't need the brackets here either it's unnecessary right and nice are both uh movies as well i think oh i didn't realize x machina was a movie as well i wish you were my math teacher i'm here making myself available two hours as often as i can we're doing one today we're doing one tomorrow two hours 
go review your math if you have problems anywhere come back either today we're here for another hour or tomorrow all right you're going to run into zero in the denominator at some yeah you got to do your restrictions right x machine is a great movie oh what i gotta watch it wait a second x machina x machina oh wait a second i've seen x machina it's uh it's ai it's the girl that they're making uh in the secluded place that's ai right she gets awareness a real life math i tutor privately yeah i teach privately and i work with some schools uh to teach some of their kids right? annihilation is based off of a book series called the southern reach trilogy natalie portman is the main character real trippy confusing movie oh i don't know this one uh doesn't get a lot of love but probably my favorite film last five. Oh, Otme, can you post it in our discord folder no i would appreciate that and x machina i think it's natalie portman as well all right she's the ai yeah that's right ai android that gains awareness yeah that was a good movie i liked it uh, that doesn't get any love oh no annihilation doesn't get much love and annihilation that's the one they go through a portal into another world right another time zone and then it's nate it's yeah it's like same thing as our place but there's like different creatures in there and stuff right yeah that's a great movie that was a really good movie what yeah i've seen both of them oh that's why yeah i've seen both of them that's right it had a very same similar feel to it yeah yeah they're both really good movies i like them uh and x machina there's a comic book series called x machina but it's totally different uh yeah yeah great movies ah i didn't know that i didn't know that uh you'll love it you'll love that it was really good fun movie okay for this one you just gotta factor this guy if you factor this guy it's a difference of squares right m plus three m minus three that's that guy kill it you don't need it right the only charm in a hp hp's behave by annihilation has tons of similarities uh to color out of space i don't know color out of space oh okay okay so take a look at this whenever you're trying to solve for any mathematical equation any mathematical equation or function color out of and nicholas cage film what color out of and nicholas cage some nicholas cage films amazing some of them oh my god right he must have had to pay some bills right came out late last year i think oh really cool based on hp lovecraft our oh, very good this is this uh one is supposed to be really good i need to watch it oh i don't know this one either if someone remembers please post that in the film section too so i can <laughs> i'll remember to watch it color out of space so first thing you do whenever you're doing any math problem any math equation any math function whatever it is you find your restrictions what can't we do in mathematics divide by zero so whenever you see a denominator if there's a variable in there you grab it you say that can't equal zero so usually i do it on the side but we have no space so we're going to do it on the bottom so this m plus three cannot equal zero this m minus three cannot equal zero this m plus three m minus three cannot equal zero m cannot equal negative three m cannot equal three and this is m plus three can't equal zero m minus three can't equal zero which is the same thing as this m can't equal negative three m can't equal three which is the same as this so we don't need this this is redundant right it's the same deal okay so these are restrictions and then you can start solving it right so one thing you want to do when you're solving these types of equations you want to get rid of the denominators simplify life right so to get rid of the denominators yeah you're on an equal sign as long as you have an equal sign it means you can do anything on this side as long as you do it to the other side right so we're going to multiply the whole equation by the common denominator what is the common 
denominator. The common denominator is m plus 3 times n minus 3. Multiply the whole equation, every term, oops, every term by m plus 3, m minus 3, right? Chicho has a great video on Arrival. Oh, Arrival, yeah. That was a good movie. I like that. This would be uh, just solving rational functions, rational equations, right? So this would be grade 10, grade 11 in my neck of the words. Okay. So this guy multiplies this, multiplies this, and multiplies this. What happens when this multiplies this? Well, m plus 3 kills m plus 3, so it's just m minus 3. Plus, what happens when this multiplies this? m minus 3 kills m minus 3. Oh, yeah, minus 3, so it's m plus 3. I hope that's clear. Okay. Do we usually stay around this? No, we go all over the place. I'm not really touching calculus. We did a little intro to calculus uh, la last week or the week before on a previous set. I think it was last week. Um, and we do a little bit of stats. Do you do any higher level calc or optimization problems? Studying deep learning on my own time. Oof, uh, no real, um, real human, human being, humans being, human being. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that right now. I'm not doing hardcore calculus. Okay. Just this uh, stream we've done nine minus two in terms of subject matter, nine to 12 in terms of subject matter. Yeah. Hopefully it wasn't nine minus two. <laughs> we were not doing my nine, nine minus two for for an hour, right? Which equals what's this times this? Well, these guys kill those guys, so that's six. So right now we got two m is equal to six, right? This kills that. Divide by two, so m is equal to three. That's your answer, right? That's your answer. But you got to check your restriction. M can't equal three. So there's no solution. Okay. So we gotta check your answer. That's your restriction. No solution. Okay. Can't do it. Has anyone seen the film Pi? Written and yeah, for sure. It was a good movie, fun movie. Laugh a lot, thanks. Oh doop, where'd it go? I'll give a follow anyway. I might be a bit rusty on this stuff. But this stuff is pretty important actually. This is the core of calculus right oh that's why you're gonna stick around yeah you need to know this stuff 100 percent. yeah it's never been a bad idea to practice earlier stuff yeah yes negative three subject matter chicho what does this mean graphically what does this mean graphically well let's graph it here let me show you what this means graphically well we'll show you what one of the functions looks like let's graph this guy okay which is the same as this guy they're both the same right so let's just graph this let's assume you have the following function right let me just call get caught up with uh, with chat a little bit all right let me write it down so we're going to graph this f of x is equal to 6 over m squared minus 9 okay Yes, Pi is also fun. Amazing uh, micro budget film. Amazing micro budget film. I like those. Uh, uh, and uh, Primer. Primer was another one which was really good on the same level as Pi. Do you know arithmetic algebra rules for equations with uh, probabilities? For example, probability of x greater than 4 equals probability of x less than 2 plus a half. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, dice power, I haven't gone there yet. I've worked with some students. I have one student this year that was doing a little bit of stats so we work with a little bit but i'm not comfortable enough to teach it because i don't yeah i'm not comfortable enough to teach it just so put it simply right when people start doing operations for normalized variables etc i i never know the rules for how the outer equation and inner inequalities intersect interact wait what i got m equals six did you cipher did i do it wrong you have to divide by two yeah, 2m is equal to 6, right? These two graphs never meet. Can we do something uh, simpler like 10 plus 10 plus 12? 10 plus 12? Yeah. 
10 plus 12. 10 plus 12. Lay them up vertically. 10 plus 12. Add each digits. 2, 2. Right? Let's assume you had 9 plus 18. And let's make this uh, here. 8 and 3. Right? So we got 98 plus 83. Right? I just didn't want to get my eraser, but I have to grab my eraser. <laughs> 8 plus 3 is 11. You put the 1 here. Because it's 11, it's a 10. You carry it over. You put 1 on top of here. 9 plus 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18. Straight up, right? No, wait. See the air. Okay. Do you like beard? Marsh. Marshman. I like goatees right now. But these are awesome and i do like beers just do chicho beards we have a beard playlist on youtube m equals three but three is excluded because it yields zero in the denominator so no solution you ever heard of andrew gilman great statistician i'm reading his book right now on bayesian stats no i don't know i don't know you would see the two graphs get very very close around three and negative three but never meet infinitely close beard is it bread oh bread not beard yeah i love bread <laughs> i love beards <laughs> thanks for that i read it all wacko <laughs> this is chicho reading words and names and stuff is it a classic text word Bayesian data analysis, Catholic traditionists, that's cool. That's cool, yeah. As close as you want, yeah, Catholic Absurd, absolute class. is it absolute classic, really? Unless I'm missing something major, mask of red. What's more random equation tomorrow? I watch math films, starting with under the heavy topics. Okay, take a look at this, let's graph this guy. So if you're graphing a function, first thing you gotta do is the same thing you did when you solved an equation. Find your restrictions. What are your restrictions? Well, the denominator can't equal zero. So let's do the restrictions here. Restrictions. And usually when I'm doing graphing functions, solving equations, you go to one side and you say restriction, and you know this is your restriction for either your equation you're solving for, or your problem you're solving for, or your function you're trying to graph, right? So the denominator can't equal zero. M squared minus nine cannot equal zero. M minus three times M plus three cannot equal zero. So M minus three cannot equal zero. M plus three cannot equal zero. So M cannot equal three and M cannot equal negative three. That's your restriction. Your restrictions can either possibly be holes in your graph or asymptotes in your graph. So as soon as you find your restrictions, factor, simplify your function, right? So this becomes six over m plus three, m minus three, because we factored it, right? That's what it is. You want it in this form, okay? So as soon as you have that, you're ready to graph it. Now, if you simplify it, and one of the bottom guys cancels, one of the restrictions cancels, it's no longer an asymptote, it's a whole. But since nothing canceled, we have two asymptotes. Our asymptotes are m equals three and m equals negative three, right? And this is my bad, my terminology. This should be an m. It's not f of x anymore, it's f of m, right? It's just like saying f of x, and these would be x's, right? And x is m is our uh, x axis, right? So your asymptote is your restriction. m equals 3 and m equals negative 3. So draw your graph. Your asymptotes, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Or your asymptotes are m is 3, which is a vertical line, and m is negative 3, which is a vertical line. So here's your asymptotes. Oops, right? 
that's negative 3 that's 3 now what you need to do is graph it that's all really all right so you can just test points to be able to graph this or you can go hey this is if you're going to graph this that's really a parabola with the vertex being at negative 9 and 0 right now this is symmetrical right so what you can do is find different points on here and by the way your hor these are your vertical asymptotes you also have a horizontal asymptote let me give you the rule for the hor horizontal asymptotes let me erase this uh hold on let me put it over here because we're going to need the space down there i scaled it that way unfortunately so asymptote asymptotes is m equals 3 and m is equal to negative 3. now your horizontal asymptotes for any rational function like this this is the rule that you need to remember okay uh, if f of x is equal to let me put this in a box is equal to a x to the power of n plus dot 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 over b x to the power of m plus dot 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 right any polynomial function on top of another polynomial function okay your asymptotes are this if if m equals n then your horizontal asymptotes f of x is equal to a over b if m is greater than n then your horizontal asymptote is uh, but equal to zero if the power in the bottom is bigger than the power up top then your horizontal asymptote is the x-axis if m is less than n which means i should have written this as uh wrote these the other way right mm, yeah anyway because n is a higher letter than m right so you would assume n is usually higher i'm trying to make it symmetrical but it's okay so if m if the lower power is smaller than the upper power no horizontal asymptote no horizontal asymptote so what we have here the bottom power is higher than the top power so we have f of x is equal to zero that means your x-axis is also an asymptote right so we found our boundaries we got six zones this 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 now we need to find out where the function is right is essentially uh, cancels so not uh, an asymptote uh, it means there were on top then top and bottom would cancel yeah the top and bottom I can show you here if you had for example let's assume you had this m minus 3 up here m minus 3 up here then the m minus 3 would kill the m minus 3 so your final reduced format of this would be 6 over m plus 3 right so m minus 3 would be an asymptote but there would be a hole along this this asymptote would not exist okay so all you would do is put a substitute find out find out what f of 3 would be you plug it in it would be 1 so there would be a hole at y equals 1 x is equal to 3 y equals 1 would be a hole we can graph it after this we'll graph it after this actually so you see the difference let me erase this for now and we'll add that addition in there okay let me scroll down make sure i didn't make any mistakes uh why don't you just use derivatives uh because i'm not doing calculus and i like doing it this way tell the truth right now because i'm not doing calculus are you a teacher i i i do private teaching yeah i do private math uh teaching for sure right so take a look at this that's our asymptote so we need points if we if the graph is here then it's not here because it wouldn't be a function it can't cross the asymptote right so just test the point here negative four plug it in right so what's f of negative four f of negative four is six over i'll do it here negative four plus three uh negative four minus three right so this becomes six over negative one times negative seven which is six over seven right it's very close to one right so it's positive so the graph is if this is one is here right 
Well, from here, we know the rest. This is an asymptote. That's an asymptote. Asymptotes work like magnets, right? So just imagine this thing being an asymptote here. We'll do this way. This thing, oh no, I'll do it this way. So you see, if this thing is an asymptote, if a function is approaching it, it can't go through it. It can't hit it. It can't touch it. So this is acting like a magnet, so it's pushing it, right? So the function either does this, and it's asymptotic to this, gets closer and closer and closer, in general, or does this, gets closer and closer and closer. Sometimes it does, does, does a head fake, or does another head fake this way, right? It can't hit this thing, right? That's what these are. Well, we have an asymptote this way, asymptote this way, so this guy's pushing this way, this guy's pushing this way. This function is here. It's not going to go this way because functions have momentums, right? They're not going to just be here. Sometimes they are, but rational functions are not. The, this, they're sort of smooth, continuous. Well, this isn't continuous, but it's uh, predictable functions, right? So this thing will just go like this and like this. Gilly boy, are you are you aching to be banned? Whoop goes like that, right? Cool. Let's do it over here. Let's plug in negative four, right? Oh, sorry, I mean four, not negative four. Four. If you plug in four here, this becomes four. This becomes four, right? That's seven and that's one. So seven and that's one. You get the same answer, right? These things are, tend to be symmetrical, a lot of them, right? So this guy goes here. And again, same thing. Pushes this way, pushes up. So this thing goes whoop. Right? Cool. Now we need to figure out what's going on here. And the graph, because this graph is here, it's not going to be here. We did it, right? We plugged in x is equal to negative four. It was here. So it's not in this section right on the inside plug a number in personally this is three away this is three away so i plug in x is equal to zero right if you plug in x is equal to zero you're going to get what plug in it and this was four right plus or minus four i guess f of x is equal to zero so this guy would be six over zero zero three times negative three uh, negative 9 which is negative 1 over uh, sorry 2 over 3 right negative 2 thirds no you, uh, Martin uh, for some reason I see some of the things that come up that are blocked automatically but you guys don't see them it's weird right Automod does our job for us which is yeah right on so it's negative 2 over 3. Negative 1, negative 2 over 3 is here. Well, that's an asymptote. That's an asymptote. That's an asymptote. This guy's pushing this way. That guy's pushing that way. That guy's pushing this way. This is symmetrical. So this guy's going, okay, I can't go up. I can't go that way. I got to go like this. Right? And you can get other points. Check out other points and see what it is. Right? Well, I was mostly being uh, facetious and funny. And blah, 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 blah. Can you show me how to find the sum of why my wife yeah, took the case? Maybe you didn't know math. If you didn't know math, Oakland Stone, I'd leave you too. Right? Can you do a system of equations? T. Absurd column. Solve for T and W. I think we could, sure. Uh, let me show this other version too. So we showed a hole for a second. Let me do this. Let me erase this. Uh, I'm going to kill this. Okay. So just imagine this. Let's assume this was x minus 3 up here. Yeah, x minus 3. Uh, m minus 3. M, m minus 3. This would have killed this. So our function would have been 6 over m plus 3, right? That's f of x, f of m. So that's our function after we reduced it, right? Now we find the restrictions before we reduce anything, right? Before we reduce anything. So we've already found our restrictions. These two were our restrictions, right? When we get to the end, this restriction is gone. 
So our asymptote is no longer m is equal to 3. There is no asymptote there. There is a hole there because our restriction says m cannot equal 3. So when a part of your restriction kills, gets destroyed in the process of simplifying, you have to account for it. And in the bottom here, you would say not an asymptote, but holes. Where do we have holes? We have a hole at x is equal to 3. Well, we need to find out what y is when x is equal to 3. So you plug it into your reduced function. You get 6 over 3 plus 3, which is 6 over 6, which is 1. So when x is 3, y is 1 is a hole. There's a hole there. Cool? Okay. And then you can go ahead and graph your function, plug in points and see what happens. This thing is going to do, what's it going to do? Uh, I'm assuming this thing might go like this. You can find a y-intercept, find a y-intercept. Oh no, there is no y-intercept. Uh, anyway, we could graph this using other points. I just need to make more room. Uh, <laughs> adios, stoner. Uh, all right, I have to get going. Okay, Odnick, thanks for popping in. Have a nice evening, guys. Hope you have a fantastic evening, Odnick. <laughs> these are great. I love these tutorials. Awesome, Lark. Fun. So how how did you reduce the function? Uh, I introduced this on top, right? I cheated. I just wanted to show another variation what a hole is, right? What was the other question we had? Um, there's something else here. Oh yeah, this thing. Let's do this. Uh, t times w cubed equals a. So t w cubed equals a. And w t cubed equals b. w t cubed equals b. And want to solve for solve for t and w. I would just do substitution, right? Leave you too. <laughs> too funny, human. I'm from ninth grade from Brazil. Hello, hello. Adria Adraden ninety-three. Kaka. <laughs> Need a bigger whiteboard. Need a bigger whiteboard. Need a bigger whiteboard. Asymptotes are very important for the future, man. Asymptotes are ridiculously important, right? Asymptotes are important in society is restrictions in physics is restrictions in chemistry and biology asymptotes and holes are unknowns right asymptotes report for many things for example in stats the asymptote will let you know how high your functions go yeah limitations gives you limits right is there like for example for in biology based on our based on um, gravity on this planet there's only a certain size that a, that creatures will grow to be, you know, humans. There's only a certain size that will ever grow to be. Like, will you won't find a human on planet Earth that's gonna, you know, like Giant Man and stuff in comic books. That'll be like, you know, how tall is Giant Man? I don't know, Eighty feet tall, right? Because the bone density and the mud, it won't work. If they can maintain the same bone density, they'll collapse, right? So there's a limit to how how high, how tall we'll get. Isn't gravity just a theory? Uh, no, gravity is a function of matter. Matter has gravity, right? It's just a property of matter, right? It's like time. Time to me, for me, is a property of matter. Space-time curvature, yeah? So take a look at this. We want to solve for T, we want to solve for W. Let's solve for, here, let's just write one, this equation in terms of, so number your equations, one, two. Bring equation one down. T is equal to A over W cubed, right? Just divided both sides by W cubed. Chicho, are you telling me giants don't exist? 
you're breaking my child's heart. Uh, they could be giants relative to us. They could be 10 feet tall, 15 feet tall. I don't know what that asymptote, that boundary is based on the physics that we know, biology of human beings. Like a 15 tall feet tall person would be a giant, right? Sometimes I've seen some NBA basketball players. Jeez, they're like, they feel like, <laughs> like they're really tall, right? So substitute this into equation two. So sub, sub one into two, right? So we're gonna kick this guy because that's T, that's T, that's T, sub that into that. So equation two becomes W times A over W cubed, cubed is equal to B, right? So this becomes W A cubed over W to the power of nine is equal to B, right? When you're solving for this, don't kill the W's, okay? Just on this planet. Some would disagree. Uh, it's mass or buoyancy. It's uh, basing on assumption. Can you prove gravity with an equation? Uh, gravity is one of the hardest things. Gravity is the one that stands outside of the three main uh, forces that we have right we've got the strong nuclear weak nuclear electromagnetic and gravity we've been able to re as far as i know my physics bring these three together but gravity stands apart string theory talks a little bit about this and according to classical physics gravity is the weakest force there is but if you start talking about membrane theory where we can jump from one universe to another universe then gravity would be the link so it could be the strongest force there is right gravity is is unique gravity is incredibly encompassing right because we are matter right so as google says the inconsistency in inconsistency you can't look at a system from within a system to find out where the flaws of that system are we are matter being we're trying to look at properties of matter from within the system difficult to do right mathematics says so sorry i'm back i'm currently doing <laughs> some work for the business awesome spider-man do your, do your stuff everything's going pretty good right now i think so anyway Uh, because you'll lose a solution if you're trying to solve for w right so what you do what you should do is this cross multiply this baby up right w a cubed is equal to w 9 b or b i should write the uh, well i wrote it this way but a and b are just constants right google google's incompleteness theorem i stumble every time i try to say this right and then bring this guy over so we got i'm going to rearrange this so we got b w to the power tau power of nine negative b w to the power of nine my plus uh, a cubed w is equal to zero and then factor out a w w comes out now you got negative b w to the power of eight plus a cubed is equal to zero right you got two things multiplied to give you zero so one of them is w equals zero if you killed this w you would have lost this solution you don't want to lose a solution don't eliminate your variables when it comes to division because you'll lose solutions possible solutions right and then this over here we got negative b w to the power of eight plus a cubed is equal to zero solve for w i'm going to bring it here so w to the power of eight is equal to negative a cubed divided by negative b the negative kill each other so w is equal to the eighth root of a cubed over b okay i hope that's okay i hope that i'm making mistakes spider-man is doing business work what does this mean uh he has his own business so he's doing work on the side i'm taking pics for the daily bugle <laughs> nice <laughs> awesome awesome j jonah jameson he's paying spider-man not much but you know 
Spider-Man's got to do what a Spider-Man's got to do, right? Nice, Martin. You were on it too, eh? <laughs> awesome. Since it's an even power. Since it's even power, plus and minus. Plus and minus. Eighth root of A cubed over B. Right? Can it be factored into multiple quadratic roots? I think that really depends on what A and B are. If they're just constants, it's just a number, two numbers, really, right? Lemon tea honey. I gotta remember. Uh, when the sun starts shining so we don't uh, schedule any mass sessions during the time we got a skylight here so uh, as the year progresses the light changes so different times we get sun shining here so we can't do math i gotta remember when that is hopefully i don't make the mistake of uh, setting a schedule like that no not really but that does explain that most cosmology agree chips what are you guys snacking on I mean, can the eighth power be expressed as four quadratics? Can the eighth power be expressed as four quadratics? I'm not sure what you mean. If it was factorable, sure. Me neither. Yeah, I'm not sure what he means. I'm making some tea for the wife. Nice. For the MJ. <laughs> well, they were married at some point, I think, Spider-Man. For MJ. Chips and yogurt. Super delicious. Tuna and gluten-free crackers, nice. Then it would just be plus or minus one. Hummus and chips beats that. Hummus and chips is pretty good. Hummus, hummus and chips is pretty good, but I, I prefer yogurt and chips. I really like yogurt. So then roots are zero, negative one, positive one. Exactly. That's what it would be. All right. With some of them repeated multiple times. Yes. And you get repetition here. All right. Not not the zero, but here. All right. Nice. That's good har harv har havri fras. That's good fras. I hope that's okay if I Jesus that's so much sugar. Yeah. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Highly recommended. I don't do this often. did good math today by the way is there a danger in missing out mentioning repeated roots is there a danger mm. it just I, when it comes to the function what it means is you're bouncing off you know it depends on the on the roots you're bouncing off it's off either a point or the x-axis you're bouncing off the x-axis basically or you're doing a twist through the x-axis sometimes it's a bigger twist sometimes it's a wider flatter 
repetition it pulls down the function even more right and that's the way i look at it because i can hear every crunch very nice do you have a, a mic or is your room just tiny it's uh i do have a mic is right here see this that's a mic yeah. so it could be picking that up i don't know if it's the room super tiny it's like average size room i guess let's have a six pack well, 46. oh two tuna and gluten-free crackers yeah protein you get your hardcore protein that way almonds and dark chocolate covered blueberries oh catholic traditionless yes um, if we can solve it for sure i don't even know how to pronounce your name backwards i don't know what that is x to the power of nine minus one equals zero i mean is it just redundant to state it nine times yeah it's redundant you just say x is equal to um one right that's it i feel boring i'm just beef and spinach beef and spinach leaves beef and spinach that's pretty good what's wrong with that Chaptedian. Lianidian, Japtalinadian, Japtalinadian. I might be going crazy, but is there an animal nearby? <laughs> is there an animal? No, <laughs> not here. I, I am scrolling with my thing. No, no animals. We did. He passed away a couple of years ago. Our kit. Yeah, a kitty cat. fun stuff kettle chips absurdicon you know your chips or miss vicky's is this miss vicky's i think it's miss vicky's yeah x cube equals one is one huh? japanese italian and canadian jap italian canadian ah catholic traditions you deciphered it how do i get the complex roots um i don't believe that one has any complex roots x cubed minus one equals zero does that have any complex roots i'm, I'm unfortunately i'm not dealing with complex roots um uh, in uh in my part of the world they're not teaching complex uh, complex numbers so unfortunately i'm not too familiar with them love kettle chips yeah chips and dip the best yeah really is 2x equals 10 oh 10 h x if a is big find x oh dude i think that's above me maybe mask of raven Odnik would have loved this by the way probably uh, mask of raven if he's still here he might like this uh but that's beyond me right now okay absurdicon is a chip uh connoisseur nice chip connoisseur salt and vi vinegar chips are my favorite yeah i like uh I, I don't buy too much chips because you can gorge on them right i do gorge on them uh, sour cream and uh onion sour cream and onion super good and salt and vinegar is so good that deserves a high five yeah seriously well done catholic traditionalist rest in peace chicho cat yeah we buried him in the backyard he's a good cat awesome cat honorable mention to jalapeno kettle chips yo yeah kettle chips are the superior chip <laughs> it's well known bro math is actually fun 100 percent Are 
harvest 376 first you have one root x equals one then you have you get x minus one oh you get the cube mm, equals zero so it's the root but where how come you got that other function on racer kill did i miss a question guilty pleasure chips original or cheetos oh flaming hot cheetos philly free dogs also pretty good yeah absurdicon i stopped eating the bad type of chips not that these are healthy for you but the really bad type of chips i stopped eating them man. i'm too old for that shit I'm too old for that stuff have you tried the korean bulgogi kettle chips oh i haven't tried it i had yesterday i no longer have any left today oh i don't know this one korean bulgogi kettle chips what no i haven't tried that sounds fantastic and bulgogi is a korean dish by the way super delicious beef dish oh so good trig is my only weakness in most people's weakness uh you have to remember all trick uh equalities uh you don't have to remember it well, to a certain degree uh, by the way real hummus being if you go to my youtube playlist i have a series playlist on trigonometry because trick takes a lot of people out i put out a whole bunch of videos like six hours worth of trick content i i don't know how many hours it's at least four hours up four to six hours i think right of uh, trick content okay oh because you can factor that that's right racer kill i forgot about that thank you that's right those are the complex roots of it yeah we don't uh oh let me do this and anyway the trigonometry i put out a whole series on trigonometry uh, I've done the first part of trick. I haven't got into the identity stuff yet and graphing it to a certain degree, hardcore graphing it. Uh, but the core of it is there. And once you understand that, the rest of it is easy. Okay. I totally forgot about factoring the cubic. Silly Chicho. X cubed minus one is if you factor this X minus one. I forget what it is. X minus one and X squared plus X plus one plus one. So if you want to solve for this, if this is equal to zero, I'm just going to put it equals zero here. If you're solving this individually, you would go X cubed is equal to one, then cube root both sides, right? So X is equal to one. So you got this solution. But you're missing this one the complex roots right well if this is equal to zero this is equal to zero you split them up right so you got x minus oops x minus one is equal to zero which the solution is this and you got x squared plus x plus one is equal to zero this one you can't factor manually so use the quadratic formula right if you use the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, which is equal to a, b, and c. a is 1, b is 1, c is 1, right? So you're going to get negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 1, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 over 2 which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 over 2 right which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus um da, 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 3 i because i is equal to square root of negative 1 right or sorry square root of 3 i over 2 so your other two solutions are x is equal to, i'm just going to write it like this negative 1 plus square root of negative 3 over 2 and x is equal to 1 minus the square root of negative 3 over 2 so these are the three solutions we get sorry about that i forgot about that because we're not i don't i don't they don't they don't do this anymore where i am which really sucks all right use it or lose it okay i'm gonna scroll down again wow uh, lark i just uh, i just know how to do certain things I, uh, that's the way i look at it you realize all the terms cancel and you get that solution just that, that oh there's another one going around it's supposed to be negative one at the second solution as well 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, liquid uh, swords. Chicho brain fart. Me sat here wondering what the heck is going on. Mr. Mersh, how are you doing? Scrolls. In general, solutions to x to the power of n minus 1 lie on the complex unit circle. You can solve such things with trigonometry, for example. Cool, Racer Kill. Thank you for that right answer. Joe, Niho Fat. Fat, how are you doing? Can we go back to basics for my peanut? <laughs> Smooth brain, smooth brain. Someone, I heard another another student say smooth brain uh, earlier. I didn't realize what smooth brain meant. Basically, he explained it to me because uh, I don't know if this is true or not. Based on biology, the way they figure intelligence and how smart you are is the number of curves you have in your brain, right? Yeah, it's hilarious. I I never knew this, right? So my student told me, oh yeah. So if you have more curves, you're supposed to be more intelligent. So if you have a smooth brain you're not very intelligent a neuro researcher is that true seriously a real almost being i didn't look at it any further i i like calling it brain farts right do you have a nice problem oh i totally missed out on a nice problem oh man did i miss something you did mask of raven something came up that i couldn't do uh if you were here you could have done but i think uh it was already solved earlier in the chat but i totally missed it I was doing something else I like prime numbers anyhow that's my bad habit prime numbers are awesome prime numbers are cold core building block of the real number set right more curves that lead to more surface area so information flowing right but is it all because of surface area speed of light pen one divided by zero equals God if you call the unknown God universe exploding God infinity god more curves equals more surface area yeah it's a theory but it makes sense okay cool bot mass bed mass so square square root of negative three equals the square root of negative one times the square root of three yes that's exactly it that's exactly it right so you have square root of negative 3 is equal to square root of 3 times negative 1 well this is equal to square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1 so this is square root of 3 and the square root of negative 1 is defined as i right prime numbers uh, doesn't really matter for real numbers because real numbers can be factored arbitrarily uh, building blocks for integers is more correct I'd say building blocks for integers but rational numbers like what's the definition of rational numbers racer kill they say numbers that repeat or terminate but really the true definition is numbers that you can write as fractions of integers so those are governed by prime numbers so so on and so forth right I would still say real numbers I wouldn't just say integers and if you're going to take it down to integers then you just say natural numbers right because integers are negative numbers as well and prime numbers aren't negative right prime numbers are only positive so we could say natural numbers and i do that every now and then i talk about what prime numbers are the building block of natural numbers and natural numbers are the building block of everything else right speed of light pens how are you doing is this is to find a solution if you have a graph but but you also have to prove your answer yeah yes but keeping in mind that in general da, 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 when dealing with the complex ask surface is where all cell bodies exist okay allowing for more concentrations within the brain ah so i don't know the biology my questions would be ridiculous 
Is zero a natural number? Zero is a whole number. It's a new category they created because it was building on the natural numbers, right? Sure, rational numbers is good too, but real numbers, uh, numbers deals with numbers that aren't rational. Real, yeah, because you have the irrational numbers, right? But the prime numbers are the building block of the irrational numbers as well, right? So for example, what makes a number irrational, right? So if we do this, The root of any prime number that you cannot reduce anymore is irrational, right? So if we got the square root of 8, this is 2 root 2. Well, that's a prime number, right? That's the building block of the irrational numbers as well. Speaking of irrational, can we do proof of square root of 2 being irrational? Well, it's a prime number. You can't reduce it down anymore, so it's irrational. I'm not sure. I'm not very good at proofs. I just, if it's a root and you can't reduce it anymore it's irrational and you can't reduce it because it's either a prime number or prime numbers multiplied together right that you can't reduce anymore rational is able to be noted on paper master miss trolls are there trolls coming in it's magic it's wild to me that it's a real number is irrational ah uh, no that's a fraction of integers so it's not irrational no yeah if you have if you have if you have integers five six just because it doesn't divide evenly it doesn't mean it's not that's integer integer equals rational if it can be written as a over b it's rational yeah sorry martin i've been lurking doing stuff what's going on yeah i don't know i haven't seen too much uh, troll action i think martin might be zapping them right away zero is a number but it's it is not an amount correct uh, how much money do you have in your pocket right now zero dollars so zero amounts guys the natural number sometimes includes zero uh sometimes not depends on what your definition depends on I guess which part of the world which system you're learning this from yeah. it's astounding when you think about it no it's a prediction what's the topic tonight we did a lot of math Slayer I would like to order zero of those so here you have zero dollars yeah now that's astounding if martin is getting overwhelmed by trolls at any point just give the chichonian battle cry and it will come running i have stream volume on nice what about negative numbers negative numbers are integers or they could be integers i guess so what time is it the sun's coming in so 3 30 so no setting up math streams starting at like after 2 30 i gotta remember that oops i could give you a couple of proofs in discord if you like wow lots of discussion going on lots of discussion fun stuff should we call the stream gang let's call the stream i think we did lots of mathematics uh, a lot of discussion uh fun stuff thank you for being here gang by the way uh, it was great uh, very much enjoyed <laughs> thank you for the subs thank you for the follows gang uh, we're gonna be here tomorrow as well from 1 till 3 doing math okay so if you want to do more mathematics if you know someone that's having a hard time with their high school math or they need help right now they're in lockdown mode they're trying to learn something that they don't have the people that can bounce off ideas from there's people here that are willing to help there's some people here that know their mathematics stronger than i do and they're giving their time to help people out right so you know feel free to pop by i think we're all in the mindset if everybody speaks the language of mathematics if everybody in the world was literate in the language of mathematics the world would be a much more beautiful place uh so we're working towards that okay aside from that wonderful I'll look forward to your 
Uh, awesome, awesome. Aside from that, um, active on Patreon. That's where you can follow the work. If you have the funds to support this project through Patreon, fantastic. Very much appreciated. If you don't, you can just still follow. I don't put anything behind the paywall. I believe in free sharing of information, right? So you can just follow the work. And whenever I post stuff, you'll get a little notification that we posted a video or talking about something or whatnot. Slowly, I'm going to be building up the curriculum on Patreon. Okay, we are live streaming on Twitch. If you're watching this thing on another platform, may it be YouTube, Bitchu, or somewhere else. Okay, so if you want to interact with everybody live, during the chat and participating in these discussions, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. I do announce stuff on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo. That's where the announcement platforms are in, where I'm sort of shouting out and letting people um, know what's going on. You're very welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here, by the way. Uh, and I'm uploading these things on YouTube and BitChute right now. Okay. Uh, whatever BitChute is able to process, sometimes there's hiccups and whatever I feel safe right now to load on YouTube without being deplatformed, we'll see where that goes. Hopefully the sensors don't zap us, but if they do come to BitChute, right? We'll, we'll be there. It'll be very unfortunate, but hopefully it doesn't happen. And we will introduce a third one at some point. Do we have a discord com command? I think we do. Uh, we should. Let's try it out. This cord. Oop nice we got a discord command Twitch TV okay okay and right now uh, there are certain healthcare systems in the world that are being overwhelmed right if you live in those areas keep a little bit of physical distance right just so you don't overwhelm your healthcare systems right if you're lucky enough to live in an area where there isn't too much happening be aware that things could be happening right and there's something going around if we don't know exactly what it is take you know be cautious okay and make sure you're paying respect to all those people that need to be out there taking care of business okay during a storm that's going through the world right now okay be kind everyone be kind everyone aside from that mods thank you very much we wouldn't have this platform and this discussion going on without the mods so huge props to the mods man very much appreciated uh scrolling command okay i'll i'll try to remember so we'll talk on it uh, on discord let me know uh what it is we need martin and i'll go into nightbot and set something up scroll meaning scroll all the way down to the bottom or automatic scroll i don't know talk on a discord okay be kind please rewind be kind please rewind those points are not quadratics right uh, i don't know yes especially be kind to others during these troubled times 100 lark 100 aside from that gang i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it otherwise we got four streams in the next four days and the times are on discord and counting down on twitch and definitely on our patreon page okay bye everyone